Hi, my loves, Dream Related Girl from Around the Way, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with a, a baddies Caribbean, okay? I'm from the Bahamas. <laughs> episode, I don't know. The name of this episode is called Unfriended. Now, before I hop into this video review, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, good sister. So let's just hop into this ask one that Mariah got. Okay. So um Mariah was looking for it. Mariah knew that she had to fight and she was just, you know, ready to get her one. She was ready to get over with that scene, to be quite honest with you. It felt rushed and she felt unprepared. Anyway, Mariah is a gearing up to hit and steal off on cashed out, well, girl, not cashed out, um, Asian doll. And she does. She runs up, but it was a little bit weird. I mean, Mariah continues to fall all over the place. I mean, like, I'm not saying nothing. I just feel like Asian doll wasn't really like wearing Mariah ass out. She got her, she got her good, y'all. She got her real good. Okay. But that first round, she wasn't wearing her out. The second round, Mariah kept falling, okay? She kept falling, and her shirt was all tore down and tore up. It was just a little bit, you know, weird. It's sort of popping shit between the, the second round. And Asian doll, like, girl, f you. I got more money than you. Mariah, like, what's up? I got money, too. I got money, too, now. So, I mean, and I believe her. <laughs> Mariah is probably up there in the money phase as Asian doll because, you know, the checks are big over at Zeus, apparently, allegedly. So Mariah runs up the third time and she kept running up, but kept getting beat up. It was just like, you know, a dummy mission a little bit. Watching a girl just mac out like, girl, stop. Stop it, Mariah. <laughs> like, you know, why are you doing this? Just, it was almost as if she was engaging in self-harm, girl. Why do you continue to, um, you know, to do this? It was just a little bit unbelievable to me. I'm sure most of that comes from the fact that Mariah knows that this is being recorded and so she can't look like a punk. So instead of her looking like a punk, she will decide to look like a ragged out instead. Me, myself, and I, um, yeah, I already told y'all how I feel about that. Ain't nobody pulling and tugging on my damn body. <laughs> call it what you want, bitch, but you won't call me beat up. Anyway, Mariah's, you know, she's like, I don't care. I want to fight again. I want to fight again. I mean, maybe, maybe they had like three, four at the fourth round. It's just like, yo, please stop. Please just stop. The second comes over there and was telling her, like, trying to calm her down. She's like, I don't care, bro. I don't, I don't care, bro. And then, like, the, the way that they patch it up so quick lets me know it was less about the beef that they had. And it was more about her getting beat up on television. <laughs> It was more about her getting beat up on television that she was getting emotional. So um, the girls are all kind of just looking around watching from a distance. Like, who's looking Gretchen? She glad it ain't her. Callie's so damn big, thick, and fine child. I can't even handle. And then out of nowhere, um, Bianca has said something to uh, Asian Dial. And Biggie's like, oh, what did what you just say, Asian? What did you say, Asian? Like, what, what was you whispering to Asian Dial? And so the girls start you know, I'm getting a little weird with her, like, girl, well, what did you say? You know, what's going on? And Bianca has this real attitude, like, girl, I do not care. I'm not getting into it. I do not care. I I I I, don't, I said what I had to say and this, that, and the third. And so she's like, oh, so y'all want me to fight her? I don't have no issue with Asian. Me and Asian got our issue off and it is what it is. And I'm not about to fight her. Bianca's in a confessional raising a really good point. Y'all mad because I jumped into the beef with Sapphire. Now y'all mad because I'm not jumping into this. Beef. This girl told me not to jump on her beef. It is what it is. And she says something that I really liked. I want you guys to hear me. Hear me good. Bianca says, y'all not going to gas me to fight. <laughs> okay y'all are not gonna gas me to fight and i think that that is real big like you know she has been a celebrity and a star for some time you know chicken noodle soup with the on side you know whether how big or how small however much you want to discredit it you know she has been outside for a while and she doesn't have to do a whole bunch to kind of garner any type of attention not to say that she has the whole bunch now but y'all get what i'm saying y'all not about to put the battery in my back and she from run away so, you know, it is what it is. I think that she she ain't down for that. So, 
Big Biggie tries to come over here and try to, you know, convince her to try to fight or whatever. And Bianca, you can see she's like Panda. She's like, girl, I'm not fighting. I don't care. It is what it is. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. So, um, Sapphire. So, I feel like after, um, you know, she re she realized that, you know, her agent wasn't going to fight. So, she telling Bianca, tell Asian, like, do you want to fight me? Do you want to fight me? So, Asian, like, no, we don't want to fight each other. Like, okay, we don't want to fight each other. That's cool. So, you know, I feel like I wouldn't take up for Mariah after she done, you know, acted the way she beat up Sapphire. You want me to beat her up and then y'all be friends again? And then, like, that's corny. I'm not nobody's stunt double. I'm not nobody's dummy. I'm not nobody's flunky. So, Mariah said, he going on, I want to fight again. I want to fight again. They're like, Mariah, please, no. Mariah, please don't fight again. I thought I had a slide in Mariah's eye, baby, because Mariah, please don't try to fight this girl again. Um, <laughs> I'll post it on the community tab. But anyway, so I just feel like Mariah, she's talking to everybody else. And she's like, yeah, I feel like people trying to be, you know, people trying to be funny style now. People trying to be funny style. Like, no, it wasn't nobody trying to be funny style. Like, you are just being weird, Mariah. You so, you know, turned up. So Mariah talks to Asian and let her know, like, you know, I wanted to get that hit up. We did that. That's cool. So they ended up hugging it out. And she was like, I felt some type of way about you making that comment about black people because my, half, my sister is half black and all this other shit, Mariah. Whatever, because like Asia said, girl, stop trying to get them to, you know, team up with you on this black people thing. Like, I see what you're doing, but the right message, wrong messenger, if you will. And like I said, you know, they they patch it up. They hug it out real quick. And I feel like Mariah has a tendency to do that. You want Bianca to go up and get bent all out of shape and do all this, do all that free to just turn around and forgive people. That's not fair. It's not a it's not a reality that people really do. Um, and Bianca paid them dust. Like, I'm not fighting. So the Sapphire, they feel like, all right, that's not the Asian doll ain't going, ain't going to work. So what else can work? So Sapphire, she's like, yeah, well, I told you, you spit on me. And so, you know, I, I just feel like I want my ones now. My shoulder is cool. So I, I want that head up. Like, you know, and she's like, well, I'm not going to fight you. And she's like, well, I just feel like I'm not going to fight somebody that's on some bullying shit that don't want to fight me. Good call good call but you also seem like a little bit of on the following thing like now everybody is fighting now you want to fight girl you was you was just chilling and kiki and a kaka you know it was just a kiki and a kaka now you want to fight because it just seemed like it was time to fight you know it seemed like it was time to fight and bianca's paying them dust she's like i know how this tv shit work and i'm only fighting when i want to i'm that type of person like I don't, I don't dance if I don't like the music and I only scratch when I itch. So you're not going to make me do anything I don't want to do, right? And so Sapphire throws in her bed. That doesn't work. So then she's sitting on this, this little ATV right here. And so out of nowhere, DTB just pops on her, pops on her. And, um... You know, I just feel like, you know, everybody, uh, Tinka was like, yeah, she she had to get with her. Some people, Scotty was just like, I just feel like, you know, I don't know. Why would she do that? You know, DTB was just trying to do too much for Cloud and this, that, and the third. And, you know, and it was just like a quick tap. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was a quick tap. It wasn't even nothing serious. DTB perhaps was doing it for Cloud. But she said she felt like it was, a, it was extra. And I agree. I agree, but I feel like we we all pick and choose on what's extra and what's not, right? So after that, you know, Bianca leaves. I feel like it was like, have you ever been to a school, an urban school setting, and like somebody is fighting and somebody getting their shit off and it's other people around now and the, the energy is just circulating in the room. All right, who's next? You know what I'm saying? And it just felt like um, very much... Um, Oh, I thought I responded. Um, I'm trying to work on getting some different content to the channel where I didn't respond. Um, you know, anyway. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, so um, 
I don't know. I feel like Bianca leaves and then um, there everybody's just circling around or whatever. Like Tinka's like, oh, she got to go home. She got to go home. If she's not really about that life, I don't like she's supposed to be putting on for New York. She's supposed to be putting on for the city and she ain't even representing like, girl, I'm not about to be out here tap dancing when y'all people, when these people want me to. Like, I just think that it's so weird. And we're so pressed on Bianca going home over Gretchen. All of y'all look weird and like a bunch of high school girls that's just following the cool girl who wants to be down. Now, even if they got you out here looking stupid and crazy that's what it gave to me a bunch of old bitches that never grew up from high school mentality um anyway so they walking around old san juan and anna is all excited to be a part of the scene we have anna Tseki, Tseki, child, to seeky child to seeky to um anyway let me know um dcb and biggie and i feel like you know it was cute they was like i heard you baddies baddies i heard y'all was looking for me to second joins she was like i can't believe the traffic in olsen wanted me at least we got a little piece of something out of um to and her confessional i feel like anna for whatever reason was just talking so much in the scene and she was basically like you know i seen bianca online talking about they jumped her that you, somebody has said that they jumped her and seconds like girl if we jumped you you wouldn't be able to post or whatever the case and then you know they were just walking and talking about the whole bianca situation and it was just like i feel like she need to go home you know we need to have eviction notices or whatever the case and you know that that whole thing as they're walking around old son want so you know they talk about jelly bean or bean jelly they was calling her so diamond like girl show me a picture of your man so i make sure i don't sit next to him and Tseki was cracking up like see i like that the second in the, in the confessional like we're trying to see if diamond is going to give house b but we don't really know yet because some nobody in house b would have snuck anybody i mean like hmm, i feel like diamond understood diamond understood what y'all wanted to be done and she did it <laughs> She understood that that moment required a little bit of action and she did. It. So whether Sapphire got into the paint or not, like, you know, y'all wanted to have something now because it's diamond y'all picking and choosing. You know, I think that that's just very interesting. Um, anyway, so we see uh, Jayla and Meatball and they're walking through a store and they're walking through the town and uh, Jayla, Meatball, Dia and Slim and, and um you know, Jayla's talking about the history of Puerto Rico and, you know, those conky frogs or whatever the case may be. I forgot the exact name of it, girl. I wasn't on my Duolingo today. Shout out to Mariah. And, you know, Meatball's like, girl, Jelly, not Jayla being the, the, uh, the tour guy. Where is Biggie? I thought that was so funny. But they're all talking and Jayla is just like, well, who do y'all feel like y'all know, you know, we should go home, you know, we should, we should go home or whatever. And she asked Kylie, this is when they were in the store. And Kylie is just like, well, I really don't know. I feel like Bianca, I don't know her that much. I guess I can just say she needs to go, but I don't really know her like that. Um, and I feel like everybody is all mad at her because she said that she's, she snuck Bianca. She was sneaking. Um, but they all sneak on baddies. They all sneak on baddies. Like, I don't have anything off the top of my head, but I know that Krishan, like, a few times has have snuck persuasion. Y'all can say, oh, no, she knew what's happening. It's like, if you, if you like, oh, and you go to stretch, like, you about to yawn, and you, bah, you pop somebody, bitch, that's still sneaking, whether I'm in front of you or behind you. Right or wrong, y'all. I know I'm not tripping. Krishan has snuck low even though they were engaged in a altercation. But I feel like, you know, they pick and choose when it's when it's sneaking. It's baddie behavior. That's what y'all all do. You know, Mariah already said, I, I, I don't like giving bitches the head ups because I'm small. So I'm going to sneak. I'm going to get mines in. Anyway, Natalie, Sapphire, and Scotty are somewhere else. They're in different groups in um, old San Juan. And um, this is them in the thing. And, oh, what I do want to mention is some say, I don't care what nobody is saying. Nobody taking my spot. I don't care. This is my spot. Nobody taking my spot. And we see in the, at the end of the show that uh, Slim was jumping on DTB. Girl, she was all behind the bar on DTB. And so, you know, maybe she got some power in that botch BBL because we don't see nothing from her. We don't see no attitude. We don't see no nothing. I don't know. I'm sitting here thinking like the energy and the, the, the attitude with these girls are so low. I can't believe they got rid of that girl heaven. At least she had a fucking personality. These girls are very slow burning. 
So we see Natalie and her uh, first lady of the church looking, giving very much Shawnee O'Neill teas. And they were talking and we're getting a pineapple and coconut and this, that, and a third and blah, 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 blah. And so Natalie is just like, we're going to have a house meeting. Bianca has been calling me and texting me, sending me all of these receipts. I don't really know what to say. However, Roly is coming. I'm like, oh my gosh, finally. I mean, Roly comes with some entertainment. She's funny. Um, she's going to shake the table up a bit, you know, and not for nothing. Roly has a little bit of star quality now, too. Roly is an OG in terms of baddies world, right? And just the Zeus Network's world. She has her own fan base. And I feel like she kind of holds these girls a little bit more honest and truthful. She's going to call truth to power um, than some of the other girls will. You know what I mean? She holds more of a, a, a of a power than Anna. Let's just say Anna. Anyway, they're doing the baddies, baddies, shot o'clock. And she's like, you know, we have to say it three times because Asian was about to only do it once, girl. You have to say it three times. Say it with me now. Subscribe, subscribe, shot o'clock. Subscribe, subscribe, shot o'clock. Subscribe, subscribe to my channel, bitch, period. Okay? I love that. All right. So, um, Natalie in outside, and she's FaceTiming Bianca. And, you know, she's like, I'm finally talking to this girl. She's been FaceTiming me all day long. And I don't really know what to say to her. But, you know, she's so fake. So she's like, hey, girl. Hey, hey, Betty. Hey, this. Hey, that. And, you know, she's like, you know, having a conversation. Like, I seen you've been sending me text messages. And I don't know what's going on. I don't know who's green. I don't know who's white. I'm an old bitch. And I'm like, girl, Natalie, I ain't even that old. But I feel it on that. But uh, one thing Bianca going to do is keep a receipt or two. And I still don't be understanding because who is green and who is blue and who is white, girl? I don't fucking know. I need I need a marker or something. This is me here. This is her there. Well, anyway, she said, I need you to have a conversation with, um, I need you to have a conversation with, what's the girl name, y'all? Sapphire. And, you know, we won't be there, but I need y'all to be able to kind of, you know, sit down and have a discussion. Bianca hesitantly agrees. And so they go in, they have a sit down. And Sapphire is just like, listen, we need to meet at eye level. Let's keep it at this level because I don't know what's going to happen if you go above that. You get what I'm saying? I don't know what can happen if we go above that. And she starts talking. And she's like, well, you wasn't a real friend. And she's like, how was I not a real friend? And then they start going back and forth. And she's like, well, did, did you talk to Asian before Asian got here? And she was like, yeah, somebody had called them. Well, apparently Asian, ha um, Bianca, got onto a FaceTime with Asian doll with her boyfriend because, you know, child, her boyfriend's a millionaire in the music industry. So maybe she felt like she had to patch some things up because of her man. Maybe she said she felt she had to patch it up because of her man. You know, we do we do stranger things for a piece of pain. Come on, y'all. Come on, somebody. And they had their own private issue, their private beef. You get what I'm saying? I think I might make a video about the the text exchange between Bianca and um, Mariah, just to kind of get, glean a little bit more clarity for me, child, because I mean, people are saying that Bianca is clearing. It's not. It's 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 not given that she's lying. Anyway, Sapphire and her talk about like, well, you want to want the fade and this, that, and the third. And she's like, I don't want to. I don't want no fade. It is what it is. I beat you up three times, which is kind of like a game of spades, dog. You feel what I'm saying? If I if you reign as supreme and I beat you three times, I it's going it's going to be a minute before I want to play you again, sister. You gonna have to. You only as good as your last win, ho. And I won. I'm up right now. I ain't got to. I don't owe you shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't owe you. I don't owe you nothing. You feel me? So I understand why she's not um, necessarily in a rush to fight her again. And I feel like Sapphire, you know, you said your, your leg was hurt. Your arm was so hurt, whatever. You ain't really do no damage for real. Bianca sitting there looking like, girl, you big, dumb Sasquatch, bitch. I can't stand you. Bianca is funny in the confessionals because she really don't even be paying them nothing, girl. And so she like, yeah, well, you said something about DTB. So she's writing down, well, you said DTB can write the fade too, girl. When she pulled out that big pencil and started writing that shit down, I thought that that was so hilarious because where did that even come from, girl? I think that Sapphire is funny. It's different to see her without Sukiyana. And then we all need a little bit of relief. I feel like this little pen and pad is almost like a, a burn book. I'm glad she came up with this. I think that it's so cute. A little something yin -yin -yin for us to munch and chew on. What do y'all think? This this felt like filler, too. We're going to give you a little fight in the beginning, but we really ain't going to give too much. Not too fucking much. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think. Drop down in the comments. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.